uh, about a week ago. Uh, he, he, he wrote about his thoughts on Flash. Um, and that there's been a lot of discussions uh, in the aftermath of this. Uh, I'm going to focus on some of the things he said. Here he says, Apple has um, adopted HTML5, uh, CSS, and JavaScript. And that's a way for him to say, you know, we really don't need Flash. Because uh, we can do everything that Flash can do in those languages. And I think he has a point. And I'm going to show you some of the things that can be done in HTML5 and CSS uh, to, to, to see what's, what's, what's possible. For example, we have in HTML5 a new element called Canvas. And using that element, we can create very interactive uh, uh, web pages. This is an HTML page, but it, it, it shows a little game. It's not really a document anymore. This is more of a, 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 a program, an application, uh, and this allows web developers to create web applications. You don't have to write applications for Windows or Linux or Mac anymore. You write it for the web. And the Canvas element is important in getting these uh, applications to be, to be interactive. Another important element uh, is the video element. Video has been part of the web, um, but it has been part of the web through Flash. And you've had to have Flash installed as a plugin in order to use uh, video uh, in your web page. That's changing now with the, with the video element. We proposed this element at Opera in 2007, and we've been working with others to make it uh, generically available in all web browsers since then. Uh, and it looks pretty good. I think we're going to see a lot of interest in the video element in the time to come. Uh, and it, 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 it's so simple. Uh, you can add a video to your web page just by writing something like this uh, in your in your web page. And compared to using Flash, compared to using uh, a plugin, this is much simpler and it's much more reliable because it doesn't depend on there being a plugin available. All the Apple.com uh, uh, pages, um, and it looks pretty good. You know, you, have, you see here, it, it's a little small, but you see you have a little bit of roundedness here, a little bit of shadow, a rounded feel. Uh, on your text, you have a little bit of 3D effects uh, under it because you have some, some white underneath. Again, it's hard to see. And then you have a gradient that goes across the whole thing. So, you know, it looks like a modern, sleek design with a little bit of, of, of shadow and 3D effects. But it's been done using an image. So in order for a browser to show this, it has to download these images. And that takes time, it takes time to create, it takes time to download, and it, 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 it costs people money if they're over a wireless uh, network where they pay for usage. So we can do this better. We can do this in CSS. We can do exactly the same design using no images whatsoever. This is coded up in CSS. And you know it's 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 selectable text. I can select all of this text. 